King of All Blacks, hey. Yo, listen, the chicken sandwich from Popeye's is one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. John, you eat Popeye's like- chicken? Hit him with the hind! Here's the guy who's the expert. I like Popeye's a lot, actually, but I have not had the chicken sandwich because you can't get it. It, I mean, they've Why done, can't they get it? It's chicken. They've done an amazing job creating this demand for this chicken sandwich. A lot of Popeyes you go to, they, they don't have it. They say they're out of it. If I had a product that hot, I'd make sure I had the chicken. It creates more demand, but yeah, you're right. They should have it. Now, the people I know who I trust say it's really good. How like, could you not? You're an expert. I can't believe you I've can't wanted, get a hold I've of wanted it. to try it. I have not been able to get it. By the way, is Popeye the real Popeye? No. How are they able to use the name Popeye if it's not owned by Popeye? I think one of the founders had the nickname and they first came out with it in Louisiana and they just used and it. And who owns Popeye? Warner Brothers? That's a good question. I, I don't know who owns actual Popeye the cartoon. John Hine Audiobook is on the phone, wants to talk about Popeyes. Hey, yes. the John Hine Audiobook, good morning. Popeyes. Love that chicken. Yes. In 1972, yes, Al yes, Copeland sir. opened Chicken on the Run in the New Orleans suburb of Araby, where he served traditional southern fried chicken. Right. A few months passed, and nothing much happened, so he decided to sell spicy New Orleans-style chicken and call the place Popeyes. Wow. You've got a lot of information. Absolutely. The name wasn't based on the spinach-eating cartoon Sailor, oh. but rather on Gene Hackman's memorable detective, Popeye Doyle, from the classic film The French Connection. Wow. You see, that's what I was just asking you. In fact, the John Hine in the studio didn't even know that. <laughs> mm-hmm. How could that be? Copeland <laughs> claimed he was too poor to afford an apostrophe for Popeye's and luckily had no trademark issues to deal with. John, how is it the guy on the phone, who's your audio book, yeah. knows more than you do? Clearly he does. Yeah. I've forgotten the Popeye Doyle thing, actually. But that is right. how they got to work on the trademark issue. Right. Absolutely. Thank you, John Hine Audiobook. <laughs> but also... He could go on. Oh, he's still going on. <laughs> Hit him with the high! I just hung up on him. What a great book. I'm so informed now. <laughs> yeah, wow. Really knows a lot.